Uh, uh, then you can just uh, calculate the ADM mass of corresponding to this metric and its m. So, well, so it's yeah. If you expand to Einstein equation, we find that the energy momentum tensor is sometimes zero. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, now in uh, uh, this part of the space time is, is uh, dynamical, um, and uh, we know that when the metric uh, changes, uh, we uh, the, we have a particle production in, in space time. So uh, we expect uh, that uh, uh, along the, the whole shockwave. Uh, uh, with some uh, quanta of uh, of uh, scalar field uh, will be created. Uh, okay, so so we we consider scalar perturbations uh, phi in this uh, Vidaya space time, uh, and we just want to first uh, solve the Klein Gordon equation. And it's uh, we can um, in a standard way separate the variables uh, uh, in spherical coordinates uh, r theta uh, uh, phi and t, uh, and uh, then then the Klein Gordon equation uh, just uh, reduces to uh, to the radial equation uh, where. Uh, R is uh, the tortuous uh, coordinate, uh, and uh, in, it is defined in, uh, in this way that the um, R star equals the R over one minus two M over R, and uh, this is uh, this uh, is just uh, like a Schrodinger equation with uh, uh, for wave function R potential V and energy omega squared. Uh, and V is given by this formula. Uh, and uh, now we would like to uh, to define uh, uh, the, the notion of particles when we quantize uh, the scalar field. We need to first uh, uh, divide the space of the solutions to the Klein Gordon equation into the part with positive frequencies and part with negative frequencies. Uh, and um, uh, in the far past, the natural way to define uh, a positive uh, frequency uh, um, modes um, um, is to impose uh, the boundary condition uh, on solutions uh, uh, to, um, to the klein gordon equation. Uh, that, that that they they should have uh, this kind of form. This uh, T plus R is uh, asymptotically for large R's. Uh, it's uh, the advanced Edmonton Fitzgerald coordinate, uh, and uh, and so in a similar fashion, positive frequency modes on uh, the future null infinity. Uh, are, are given in a, are, have a similar form, but with uh, T plus R replaced by T minus R, which is the retarded uh, Eddington Finkenstein coordinate at large R's. Mm. Uh, so, so then, if we have uh, this, this is a basis of a sol solution as to Klein Gordon equation, and the general solution can be. Written as a combination of uh, uh, of modes t or on and uh, uh, and modes uh, conjugate uh, uh, and uh, the complex conjugate of uh, p. And then, uh, uh, if we decompose uh, such uh, fields upon quantization, uh, we, we decompose fields into modes p and uh, p star. And uh, then, then the coefficients of this decomposition are uh, interpreted as creation and angulation operators, and they define as the nose. They define the uh, with with the annihilation and creation operators. We have we can build a fog space and uh, define the notion of a particle. 
and uh, we can do similar decomposition on uh, uh, with modes uh, H omega, which are positive frequency on I plus, but then uh, then uh, be because uh, modes uh, on I plus don't uh, give us uh, uh, mm, uh, with with those modes we cannot uh, uh, mm, find uh, so the, this this modes H omega L M are just localized uh, uh, in, in the black hole exterior and generic solution to the uh, to the Klein-Gordon equation um, will have also support in the black hole interior. Uh, and uh, that's that's why uh, we can, this part corresponds to only uh, part of the field outside of the black hole, but, but, but there will be also some parts supported in the black hole interior, but uh, for our purposes, we want, uh, Mm, we are not interested in them. Um, um, okay. Um, uh, so, so um, as I said, uh, with having uh, creation annihilation operators, uh, we can define the fault space by first creating the uh, defining a vacuum as a state that is annihilated by all A's. This corresponds to vacuum in the far past on a past not infinity, uh, and uh, and we are interested. In... No, 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 uh, so, so we just want to write the H uh, positive frequency modes on I plus as uh, a combination of positive and negative posi positive and negative frequency modes on uh, mm, uh, minus uh, and the isopress index indexes Lm because uh, for spherical symmetric uh, uh, space times uh, that they don't change so. Mm, so we want uh, so to simplify notation, I am with them. Mm, and uh, then one can show that uh, the particle number on uh, uh, that ex expectation value of the particle number operator on sprite plus uh, is just given by the integral of the absolute value of uh, Bogolyubov coefficients beta mm, squared. Um, uh, yes, uh, and uh, see if we calculate those beta by by uh, writing those modes in terms of these modes, then we well, then we will obtain uh, the expectation value of the particle number on square class. So we will know that some particles uh, were created in the process of uh, black hole formation. And uh, what uh, Hawking did. Uh, 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 50 years ago, uh, is uh, he considered uh, modes uh, uh, H omega, uh, which uh, um, are localized on uh, Sprite Plus uh, uh, in, in far future, uh, close to to I uh, to the future infinity, um, and then by by the uh, generic ray tracing uh, argument. Uh, uh, he argued that uh, uh, some part of this wave is uh, uh, scattered on a, mm, mm, on a potential barrier outside of the black hole, but the part uh, that uh, that goes through the potential barrier uh, uh, mm, uh, has uh, the, mm, uh, this uh, property that uh, uh, he, 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 by, by general ray tracing argument, he, uh, he argued that H omegas are expressed in terms of, uh, uh, of, of the modes, uh, these which are positive frequency, uh, also on square minus, because, uh, when, when modes, uh, scatter, um, on, uh, the potential barrier, then uh, then they they won't go to the dynamical part of the space time because when we have this collapse, uh, 
uh, outside uh, the, the, this part, uh, uh, this colored part uh, of the diagram is uh, mm, uh, is uh, is the only dynamical part of the space time, and in the static part of space time, positive and negative frequency modes don't uh, mix. So, so we know that this part is positive frequency. And then, then he also argued that that uh, that this part contains also negative frequency modes, and corresponding Bogoliubov coefficients satisfy uh, this uh, relation that uh, uh, coefficients uh, uh, alpha are exponentially larger than uh, beta coefficients, uh, uh, where. Uh, and, Omega is the frequency of uh, of of this uh, wave packet because it's uh, localized uh, both in momentum and position and space. Uh, because if we have wave packets which are uh, localized, uh, which have high energies, uh, uh, then we can localize them well enough both in momentum space and. Uh, and position space, and we can we, we can say that this wave packet, even though it's uh, localized in position space, it's it has also the thing in frequency. Uh, and then then from this relation and using some general properties of uh, Bogoliubov coefficients, uh, he, mm, he showed that uh, the mm, expectation value of the particle number uh, on square plus. Uh, uh, is uh, given by the um, uh, Boltzmann uh, standard Boltzmann distribution, which means that uh, somewhere in I I think that I inter he he said that it, that the particle creation is kind of a non-local process because uh, uh, because when when observer falls into the black hole he he is like in inertia. Rain, so so it's kind of like a flat space time. So he shouldn't see any particles, and he should just go through the horizon, and and, and uh, he sh sh shouldn't uh, he shouldn't see see those those created quanta. But on the other hand, if the, there would be an observer uh, on, on stray plus, then then we would know that that he observes this. Uh, uh, in the, in this non-zero expectation value of the particle number operator, and this 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 suggests that uh, that the Hawking quanta are created kind of from from the black hole itself because they they are the creation is sort of non-local and and we know only expectation value in far future, but but on the other hand it's like. Uh, the mixing of positive and negative frequencies uh, appears only in uh, is is on, uh, only present for, in the dynamical part of the space time. So it should so it seems that, that those Hawking quanta should be created somewhere here uh, at earlier times, and then 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 they should only travel uh, further away. Uh, and to, to 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 investigate which which uh, point of view is uh, maybe uh, more more correct, I I I try to like uh, just focus on a simple case of uh, uh, of the collapse model, divided by a space time. Uh, the initial vacuum state, in vacuum state uh, uh, the, the point is that uh, in the vacuum state, you can express those uh, uh, creation operators on square plus uh, in terms of uh, creation and annihilation operators uh, on square minus. And then, then you have th these are some combinations of them, and then then this is the vacuum on scry minus, and and because uh, it it annihilates th those states, uh, you, you get this uh, this expression for the particle number. And if it's considered as space time, now the 
Uh, yes, the, 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 it was uh, the short space time outside of the collapse, but in the like the interior of the collapsing star, uh, the, the, there there are some dynamical process. It collapses, and then the metric there is uh, is very complicated and time dependent. And but uh, because because outside of the um, Black hole. We have the short space spacetime because of the big cross theorem. We we don't. Uh, we surprisingly can argue that that uh, uh, that this expectation value doesn't depend on the detail of the collapse. It does not depend on the on the background considered yes. for the initial collapse. Yes. 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 This is this is general and I consider it very simple. Mm -hmm. Yes, because uh, the, the, in the Hawkins argument the uh, 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 collapse was general, but he also only considers modes which are localized near the horizon. I, I wanted to uh, creation creation of uh, modes which which go here near near the event horizon, but uh, I, I wanted to to focus on the specific uh, collapse model, but then also consider a, a creation of a quanta here. Mm. And uh, then then you can uh, just by solving. Uh, the uh, Klein Gordon equation in the WKP approximation. So for high frequencies, the, the potential here is, is negligible. And we have simple uh, form of solutions. Uh, so we can propagate uh, modes uh, here in the flat space time region uh, and to, to the future. Then they, they will uh, have some form. Uh, we can pull back the, those solutions on the shockwave, and and the, and those small P1 uh, which uh, uh, propagate from square minus, uh, uh, we will have some quite simple form of, uh, along the shockwave. On the other hand, I have also solutions uh, to Klein Gordon equations in, uh, here in the Schwarzschild part. And I can also propagate them back from scry minus the scry plus uh, back back to the shockwave, and and by by the gluing conditions along the surface v equals zero, I uh, so so this is the, the gluing condition. I can uh, I can relate uh, the the modes of p. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, and uh, and the modes H, which uh, uh, which have positive frequency on I plus, uh, and uh, uh, then and there is also some detail that that uh, the modes which are orthogonal on square minus uh, they have only non-zero they have also non-zero part in, in in this space time, but uh, we only considered. Uh, modes which uh, uh, have a support uh, at the earlier times, uh, and then because only only because the, those modes p uh, two omega and p three omega are constants along the the surface g equals zero, and this is the only part which has uh, non-trivial R dependence. So this is the, the zero frequency part corresponds to those modes. Uh, Yes, and uh, and it turns out that this this doing condition is just the uh, standard Fourier transform, uh, and then then so so if this is a Fourier transform after writing expression for P one and uh, then then we can invert the, this uh, expression and find the probability coefficients theta. And and we get the same this this result, and it uh, it different it is different by, from from the Hawking one only by by this uh, factor omega here, 
uh, in, in the exponents. And because of that, uh, and, and Hawking argued that for, for um, uh, Mm, Hawking argument was was applicable for for modes localized near the horizon. So so then he, then then in the near horizon limit, this 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 part is uh, much uh, uh, varies much more rapidly than than the exponent of two i omega times r. So so the the main uh, part of the Fourier transform comes from 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 this term near the horizon. But uh, further away right, right from the horizon, we can have also contributions from this, and this is not negligible. And and uh, beca because of the, this little modification, we, we don't get this relation, which previously implied thermal spectrum. Uh, and, and we can calculate the um, expectation value of the particle number. It is. Uh, if I calculate it for all omegas uh, from zero to infinity, then I get just infinity. But uh, if I calculate them only from zero to to the cutoff, uh, then then I get uh, this kind of expression. It is very much the same. So so because of probably the the, the largest number of Hawking quanta is created near the horizon, and there are only some minor corrections uh, further away from the horizon this this means that 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 we have also this 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 Boltzmann factor uh, the leading behavior but we have also the, this this a lot of correction plus something uh, of order one but this is not relevant because it depends on the definition of lambda this yes, yes. Uh, it, it, so because the, they are delocalized over the whole uh, region outside of the black hole, so that's why I call it like the creation of quanta that are also further away. Mm -hmm. Why, 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 why derive the Boltzmann Where is the difference coming from? Uh, this difference uh, uh, is. Uh, yeah, Hawking uh, really uh, propagated waves from stri plus to stri minus, and then he decomposed this wave, this uh, this wave from stri plus by by the right by some geometric optics approximations. Uh, he propagated them here, and then calculated the decomposition uh, uh, on of uh, this uh, p uh, p omegas uh, on stri minus. I I I propagate uh, those waves uh, here uh, to the shock waves and uh, and waves on spray plus if are propagated back on the shock waves and then I glue them and and from the junction condition here I get uh, the logarithm of coefficients so yeah that's uh, the, that that's the, this is the slight modification but we we will get this same kind of result as Hawking, if you would say that now instead of the plane waves, uh, I, I consider wave packets which are localized well enough both in position and momentum space. And then if they are localized near the horizon, this part is uh, 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 changing much more rapidly than this part. So, so that, then I can neglect just this omega. And then I get standard Hawking result. And if you consider the gray body factor, you still get this. Uh, I don't consider the gray body factor because uh, the, this log term is not a gray body factor because I work uh, in uh, uh, WKB approximation for for high energy. So the WKB, uh, the, this uh, gray body factor comes from this V term here, but I. I uh, I here it will take just large omega and ne neglect this mm -hmm. I mean that this is like the model uh, of uh, uh, of formation of the Schwarzschild black hole. It's it's not uh, it's I don't consider the iterum Schwarzschild black hole. Proofal solution, but but I consider only the dynamical parts. Okay. Uh, 
I'm just saying the I mean, how do you just uh, take a look at this theta that you consider? Uh, which theta? In the, in the theta that you have in the metric. Uh, okay, okay, theta in, in the metric. Uh, I mean, it's uh, it's just uh, the, the heavy side theta function. So for z larger than zero here, here I have the uh, short child because this is one. And for v less than zero, I have uh, the, this term is zero, so I get to think of the hmm. uh, In the Bogolibov of coefficients, I have solutions, which are some solutions in the region where, where I have Minkowski space time and some solutions where I have uh, the Schwarzschild space time. And then I glue those solutions along this uh, surface. Uh, I mean, on screen minus, uh, the state is uh, is the same for it, it's the same screen minus both for Minkowski and uh, here. Here, this is uh, this is the, like the metric is continuous on square minus because uh, because here, here this term two m over r vanishes and the, the, those are both asymptotically flat space times so. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and now, now I, I would like to interpret the, this result, this log term in particular. Uh, so, so maybe we will some, do some like, simple uh, uh, model when when I imagine that that those uh, really. Uh, the, the the helping contact can be thought of as like the same as like, I identified with uh, the Unruh effect, mm -hmm. and then I mentioned that at each value of r here along this the shockwave, I, I I will have an observer uh, who is uh, mm, traveling in a uh, along uh, uh, mm, uh, world line of uh, constant r t times phi, so it travels only in t in in short right coordinates, and the, in the, such observers uh, uh, have uh, free, some acceleration. I mean, they 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 don't move along geodesics, so if they have some acceleration, then uh, then the under temperature corresponding to uh, to to such an observer as at each r is is this uh, is given by this formula. So so maybe I can say that these are <laughs> n boxes with photon gas at, at this temperature are placed here, and this is my working creation. I, I that's that's just an interpretation. And the, if I have such a system of boxes with different temperature at a different Along along the the shockwave, then then I have such a system. I the, it will have some density of states here, and I can calculate the free energy of uh, uh, of such a system. So I sum over all, all positions are here, and then and then I can calculate the the, the free energy of the system, and it turns out that uh, for for suitable density of states. I can I I can recover this uh, this log term as uh, and kind of an effective uh, density of states uh, times the the standard uh, term from from for the free energy of a gas at a Hawking temperature. Um, so so this, then, then then if I have such a thermodynamic system. Uh, effectively at Hawking temperature uh, with uh, with some effective density of states proportional to this log lambda over omega. Um, so so the, this kind of corresponds to to, to 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 this result because then 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 for each frequency there is uh, for each state there is. Uh, uh, thermal radiation, but there is also this, uh, 
this density of states factor here, which contributes to, uh, to the expectation value of the particle number. And to, to get uh, this result, uh, we here we, we change the sum into an integral over r along the surface d equals zero. And then, then by, by changing the order of integration, I can also uh, relate the position, uh, the momentum space, the cutoff lambda, uh, to, to the position space cutoff, which is, uh, uh, mm, Oh, which is uh, in, in the shift of, of, of the horizon, kind of we, we consider the stretched horizon instead of the event horizon. Uh, and and, uh, we, and the leading uh, behavior of B is uh, is this. Uh, so, so we can also uh, interpret this B as how close can we get to uh, can we get to the event horizon so that uh, Near the horizon, we have a blue shift. If we have a fixed frequency, then uh, at infinity, then we have, uh, then we get closer to the horizon. We have a large blue shift. Uh, and how close can we get to this blue shift so that the energy is uh, is uh, not larger than lambda? So, so if we if we get too close to the horizon, we can get arbitrarily high energies. So this is. Mm, yeah. yeah, but but but, but we, we cannot uh, this lambda cuts off energy, so so it also uh, restricts on how close can we get to the horizon. Uh, and th th this means that uh, if we if we th that this lambda may really depend on. Uh, on the frequency of the mode, and uh, if if we say that uh, the b is independent of omega, then, then it means that lambda is proportional to omega, and then this factor also in the expectation value of the particle number is uh, uh, is then constant, and and we get purely thermal spectrum. But but it's a choice, and and this model doesn't specify anything uh, here. So set models here are dependent on the cutoff. So the cutoff doesn't disappear. Y yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, because uh, because this free energy is uh, uh, is uh, logarithmically divergent. If we if we take this uh, integral over R, uh, this integral is really divergent. Uh, and uh, and we can calculate also entropy from from the free energy from the standard thermodynamics. Uh, mm, relation and uh, this is uh, proportional to to the logarithm of some scale length scale of the theory over the UV cutoff. So it it kind of resembles the formula for entanglement entropy of uh, two dimensional CFT, but but it's not really anything. I, I mean, you you can can say much from this model about and anything like this, but I I think that maybe. Maybe one could, uh, uh, for example, the, those sometimes Bogolubov coefficients, for example, for Reissner Nordstrom black holes, are given by some Whittaker functions, and then they form a, like a representation of SL two R. So maybe they, so maybe you can group them in uh, in some uh, uh, some parts of. Uh, of the same uh, conformal weight, and then maybe maybe I, I have to think how maybe to relate this to to uh, to write it, to maybe write it in terms of a CFT language, but uh, yeah, that, that's not known yet. Uh, okay, and now now I would like to like consider pictorially the back reaction. Uh, Effects. So, so if we have mm, really a uh, mm, uh, creation of quanta further away from the horizon, then they they should. If we consider some Hamiltonian evolution of, of the space time, we can uh, divide it into some Cauchy slices and and then think how how. How creation of like one Hawking quantum can influence this this 
and gradual evolution of uh, um, evolution of uh, the geometry. So, so uh, first at early times, for example, uh, at this cosine by sigma, here we insert a shockwave at a minus. Uh, and and some with very low probability, some weak uh, Hawking quantum is, is maybe created here near the shockwave. And then maybe like the energy of the shockwave in, in the first approximation would, would change in, in this way somehow. So 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 then then this would mean that the horizon would shift slightly. But then, 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 if if we evolve the, this system uh, further in time, then, then more Hawking quanta will be created. And here, here, when H is the uh, horizon uh, of the classical uh, black hole, then then maybe, uh, and then then we saw that that the number of Hawking quanta created uh, is really like infinite. It depends on the cutoff. So so if if this number is infinite, maybe maybe it can have a much more significant influence on the geometry here at later times when when Hawking quanta are created here. So, so it begins to, to the mass of the shockwave is slowly decreasing, and then, then, then more Hawking quanta created, and the mass is uh, decreased more significantly. So the event horizon also should be somehow shifted uh, uh, to smaller values of power. And in such a picture of evaporation. We would wouldn't get really uh, uh, in, in a black hole, but 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 because because the, those Hawking quanta are created along the way somewhere uh, in, in near the shockwave, then the shockwave just gradually uh, uh, mm, mm, loses its energy. So. So the horizon shifts, and as long as one Hawking quanta is created, the horizon shifts and shifts and shifts. And at, when we like get to 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 later times, we it, it, it evaporates completely. But before the uh, before the horizon is even formed. So if, if the, this is some kind of a local picture of, of this of the, of the evaporation, but but with with such an interpretation that that the, those quanta are created here in the dynamical part, then the 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 process would, would, would look like more like scattering uh, in uh, a flat space uh, in asymptotically flat space with no event horizon and just uh, just a, a shockwave which gradually loses its mass and. Uh, but, but I, I, I don't understand. I mean, uh, do you compute the 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 density of this Hawking radius? So it's all Hawking radius. So and and you convince yourself that the density is sufficiently. I mean, uh, mass. I mean, I think uh, okay. Uh, this is the first picture. This picture of just motivation, and I, I, I did only the, uh, only calculations for, for this simple model of Unru boxes, and with with a very primitive model of back creation that uh, the mass at R is is the mass at, uh, at early times minus the mass of uh, minus the energy of. Uh, uh, of the boxes uh, uh, from r equals to infinity to to some finite r. So I to to of uh, so from from the energy of uh, uh, of the black hole, I subtract just the the energy of of those boxes of unro radiation and and with uh, 
And since since uh, I get really the, an infinite number, which depends on the, the cutoff, uh, I get uh, the infinite number of uh, poking quanta without the back reaction with, with this this simple model of back reaction, I, and specifying uh, the density of states uh, um, uh, suitably, uh, I I can adjust all parameters. So that uh, so that I have uh, I have some consistency equations for this m of r, and uh, and I can make uh, the whole black will evaporate with, with this model. So uh, m of is created, but that, but this cannot be right. I mean, clearly the same mechanism should work for the standard uh, star the collapse, right? right. That there's no reason. Uh, yes, but the, the reason is so that uh, if... Mm -hmm. But then, if, if you say that this mechanism is efficient for criteria, it should be also efficient for the standard of the collapse. Yes. Which means that, at worst, I mean, even if the, the, the black hole is not small, but we know that the astrophysical the black hole, you would have a huge burst of energy during creation of black holes, which you never observe in the universe. And I, I, I think that, that, that that's not the problem because if I have the, this uh, this stage of evaporation, it's really like this picture is very schematic. But because this is uh, the, the divergence in the number of walking quanta comes from the region near the horizon. So uh, so because. Uh, so it's not the, the the number of Hawking quanta is not divergent if if we consider just creation of a star. We need to have an event horizon to have an infinite number of particles, and then even if we have an infinite number of particles, then uh, the modes created here are just these are like tiny numbers, like almost probably negligible. They, almost just uh, the, the, these are like these modes have like no energy really here. The, the, only, only very close to the horizon, we have uh, more and more uh, quanta created. So this means that in, in this uh, whole part of the space time, up to some very, very, very late times, which should, which, which are comparable to the time of just the standard computation of time of black hole evaporation, we, we will have just a short space spacetime. Even though it's not really, it's it's just subtle because because the infinite number of quanta are created really here, and here are some original numbers which we don't see. So so by being transparent in in this this region, very uh, very at two very very late times, we the same class, the classical approximation will still be valid. And and this uh, this black hole this space time that we observe up to times of black hole evaporation so Planck scale uh, then they they won't give anything is very considerably like is contradictory to observations. So yeah. I don't 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 know that that the, this uh, and this is a schematic picture. It it just some tiny mm, energy will will be subtracted here, but observationally we won't see that at all. And then 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 we don't and then we don't have any singularity horizon anything and just. just Space, space, space. And no, yeah, I know, that, yeah, and I can also adjust some parameters here to to reproduce the, the formula for Bekenstein Hawking entropy, so so that everything agrees. Um, yeah. Uh, we we also calculated uh, same things for for more complicated black holes, uh, black hole space science for for collapse of extremal right nor Nordstrom. I, I'm I'm 
it was uh, we with, with we take uh, this kind of metric and we do the same computation of uh, matching positive and negative frequency modes uh, along the, sh the shock wave uh, and uh, and then we will get some uh, some other in WKD approximations the, the solutions are, are very simple uh, and and we can match them across the, the shock wave and, and get some results and and this result in terms of extreme uh, black hole uh, is finite because uh, the uh, Bessel func modified Bessel functions uh, decay exponentially in omega so that uh, so that the integral is convergent and then then, then this, this this corresponds to the result that, that for extreme black hole, the temperature is zero, so we don't get this infinite part of uh, uh, created quanta, but we have some some finite number further away from black hole. It, it, it is really created from the black hole from from the collapse, from dynamical space time, but maybe <laughs> one could consider how how this uh, influences. Uh, the, the, uh, if we include the reaction, then the exothermic conditions may be violated, and then we have some more complicated situation. But, but in the first approximation the, for extreme black holes, we have almost the same results as, as the standard. Mm -hmm. And we can also do the same for Kerr black hole, but then then, then the idea metric is is, uh, is uh, problematic because uh, it uh, in in the most simple uh, way to to get the idea like space time from from Kerr metric is to say that that just the mass depends. Uh, uh, is a theta, is the heavy side theta function times uh, m, uh, so it's very in time. But then, then, then this this uh, space time doesn't uh, satisfy an energy condition, and then there is also a ring singularity uh, on r equals zero, and this naked. So so this 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 part of the space time is. Probably very suspect, but but I mean, nevertheless, we can solve kind uh, of equations in this kind of equation in this region and in this region and match solutions across the shock wave and obtain some results and check if they they match uh, the standard ones plus plus the modifications similar to the previous ones. Uh, and so for for care space time, uh, we can also separate variables. Uh, we get some kind of equation, uh, which is quite nasty, uh, but we we can solve it. We have really two approximations where uh, well known no, in the literature where we can solve this equation. Uh, one is just WKP approximation. In that case, uh, those two middle terms uh, uh, can be neglected, and we can also we can just uh, as, um, we have such of the standard uh, solution uh, as uh, as from other WKP equations, but also we can we can solve this equation in for low energy modes. Uh, and because when uh, in the region of really phase space, uh, where energy of a quantum time times the radius when the, where the quantum is is much less than one, uh, so we can neglect uh, the, this part uh, of the potential and focus uh, only uh, on the these three first uh, terms uh, in the differential operator, and this this gives us a hypergeometric equation, which also can be solved, and which and uh, so 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 in the low energy approximation, we can we, we can focus either on this region or on on the region of large values of radii. 
and uh, and then we can find the approximate solutions by gluing by gluing solutions uh, in, in those two regions and then and then then we can find the, the modes in the whole space line. Uh, so for uh, and uh, and uh, our method of calculating the Golub of coefficients also um, can be also applied to to those kind of solutions. Uh, for uh, for WKD approximation, something is uh, we we have some some nasty expressions for for the Golub of coefficients basically, and but but then then. Uh, the the divergent contribution again comes from the near horizon region, but it is somehow uh, yeah yes uh, somehow um, we don't get the, the the correct factor in the angular momentum part because uh, uh, when you you go through some calculations, then you will find that. Mm, the expectation value of the particle number is is given again by this logarithm of lambda over omega, but but then you have also uh, from the energy subtract only the half of the normal contribution, which is the angular momentum of the uh, the mode times the angular frequency of the event horizon, and here we get with this factor over two, which kind of doesn't agree with, with standard results, even though we, we checked it like three, four, five times. <laughs> and I mean, it may, maybe maybe it is not wrong. It is just usually when when, when people derive the, the from, from this omega, uh, this the subtraction m omega uh, plus, yeah, they say that, that this, this corresponds uh, if we want to consider like lunar radiation near the horizon, we have to first go to to uh, co frame drag coordinates, and then in frame drag coordinates we have just the uh, e to the uh, two pi over kappa times energy in the drag coordinates. But then when we go again to coordinates uh, on on square plus without the frame dragging then we should get this contribution uh, minus m omega plus not minus m omega plus over two so but uh, and and here i get this too maybe because some part of the wave is is really this frame drag and some part of the wave is not so so we kind of get the factor of two i mean it doesn't it doesn't just Strange results with weird factors to here. Uh, okay, how much time do I have? Zero. Okay. Let's, I think uh, okay, so. Uh, yeah, I can um, also calculate the uh, bubble level coefficients in, for low energy modes, and it's not. Uh, and I get some expressions for them. Uh, and then we also consider Hawking radiation of gravitons and uh, wondered uh, about like a uh, soft charge of carried by those soft gravitons. But uh, the, there, there are some minor modifications, but we don't have like great, we don't have any interpretation really for, for those results. So maybe I can finish because I don't have time. Questions. Uh, let's start with our friends online. Are there any friends online who want to ask some questions? No, they can't. Okay. Yes. So, you know, what about the area? Do you want to ask some questions? Or what? Some number of questions are already in the talk, but perhaps there is still something you want to clarify or comment on. So <clears throat> there is some, uh, something some called uh, page I page I page. Yeah, I think that's so a, do you contribute? That's, uh, I think that I 
contract drafts. Those. And actually, I think I think that it's uh, for for page time. You really have to have a black hole, and then you say that uh, uh, that's. Uh, that they are holding quanta and they have some energy uh, because because they are emitted from the black hole and they have, they have some energy and they have some entropy and they are entangled with, with the modes inside the black hole so that the entanglement entropy grows first but then as uh, as uh, uh, Hawking quanta are emitted from black holes at later times then, uh, then, then the, the entanglement entropy of the whole system uh, is uh, lowered. So, uh, so then you don't have. Uh, and then, in, in the end, on Sky Plus, you have zero energy at the end, zero entropy at the end of the black hole evaporation. But here, we don't have remotes emitted from uh, the, the black hole, but they are created on the shock wave. So uh, there, so, so there is no black hole interior when when from, uh, from which the Hawking uh, to which the Hawking quanta should be entangled. So if I think that I would be more inclined inclined to the resolution of the black hole information paradox with uh, Hawking Paris from her mechanism where. That those high energy Hawking quanta are entangled with low energy Hawking quanta. Uh, just uh, when the, already when they are created along the shockwave, and then we don't see the uh, we we don't see those soft modes, and that's why we we get uh, the increase of entropy. Okay. I, I don't understand the process, but I'm not sure if it's 